Now, as energy prices rise, many families face their own tough choice between heating and eating, not least pensioners. Households with smart meters could be told that their bills will rise and fall depending on what time of day they actually use energy. With more than 20 million, 24 million smart meters in British homes, this is clearly an important issue, as our northeast of England reporter Rachel Sweeney has been finding out. Households could soon see the price of electricity rise and fall in real time. Suppliers will bring in surge pricing for customers with smart meters. The technology will register electricity usage every 30 minutes. It's currently an opt-in choice. The data will determine the most popular times for energy usage and then pricing will change throughout the day. Those using energy at popular times or peak times will end up paying more than those able to adjust their lifestyles to use energy off peak. Energy expert Ian Henderson from Boiler Plan UK in Northumberland says some will benefit greatly, but others will be hit hard. If consumers use them correctly and they'll they set their um, washing machine, tumble dryer, dishwasher, electric car charging at the off-peak times, great. The challenge I see is potentially for working families who come in in the evening at the peak times and they have to use energy when the, the, the peak tariffs are on. So heating their homes could become a problem if they have to heat homes all of the time during peak times. Parents, Kimberly and Rob from Durham, agree. You're going to watch the television when you're not at work, but when you're awake, so that's mostly going to be mornings before you go to work and evenings when you're back in. That's also going to be the time when you're cooking dinner. It's going to be the time when you want your heating on. Um, so... Um, I think it, for us, if I was going to choose the things that I might do overnight, maybe I'd put my slow cooker on overnight where, where it's off peak, but that doesn't use a lot of energy anyway. Um, I certainly wouldn't put my heating on overnight rather than in the daytime because that just wouldn't work for me. That only works if you've got storage heaters. Um, and, you know, maybe I could do some washing at night, but it might mean me staying up late and getting up early in the morning, which I don't think is really practical when you've got a really busy lifestyle, when you're working full time, when you've got children. It, I, don't, I don't think it will make a lot of difference to us. Peter Thorpe from North Tyneside Carers Centre says families with young carers will struggle to adjust. Very challenging and difficult because carers get used to routines and sometimes they have, have they have to have things done at the, the um, certain times of the day, medication given or getting out of bed. Um, there's different challenges for the cared for, so it can vary. Um, so most of our young carers have that routine and like you know in advance about what they can do when. Despite criticism, energy regulator Ofgem says families could save money, adding that this major system upgrade is a significant milestone on Britain's path to net zero. Scottish Power, EDF and Octopus are backing surge pricing. They say this will give customers an opportunity to save money. The system is expected to launch by 2025. Rachel Sweeney, GB News. Rachel Sweeney there.